Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Stand Upright Rebooted. The game got an update, and we will check out some of the new content they added. One thing that I want to commend the developers on, is that they changed the model for Crazy Diamond over heaven. It looks much better than before, and I like the shining eyes. It honestly gives me the over heaven vibe. This stand is more like a skin and a slight upgrade for Crazy Diamond now, and I think it's better than nothing. We will now move to our main objective, obtaining the ultimate life form. To obtain this spec, we will first need to use Kar's vampire mask, and then use the Adja mask to evolve it. We can find both items around the map. Kar's mask spawns every 60 minutes with a 25% chance, and the Adja mask spawns every 2 hours with a 10% chance. We can also get Kar's vampire mask from the new dungeon, let's so go. let's find it. The dungeon NPC took me a while to find. It is located in the inner sanctum, and hidden behind a wall. The level requirement for this dungeon is 200. You have a chance to get charged arrows, requiem arrows or one car's mask upon clearing the dungeon. Let's do this. This dungeon seems to be the prison from Stone Ocean. It's honestly a pretty well made map. The developers added a smaller bee in this dungeon. Now you can train your parker skills while grinding. <laughs> there is a tunnel after you finish the obby. It will lead you to the boss room, where you must kill a few more mobs before fighting him. Bruh. The tunnel's exit might be a little small for me to fit through, but don't worry, I solved this problem by dashing. Surprise, mother that was a bit unexpected. The surprise attack would have worked if I was using a weak stand. Wow. That is a lot of charged arrows. Stand farming will be so much easier now. I discovered he rough and green couldn't fit through the tunnel while in autopilot. This might not be the same for every autopilot stand, since stands like Aerosmith have a much smaller model, but there will undoubtedly be a damage difference between them. There is a fix to this problem. You must go into autopilot mode while talking to the NPC, and teleport your stand outside the map. All you need to do now is locate Jotero's room and kill him. Jotero will start moving towards your main body after being attacked, making it difficult for you to locate him again. I highly don't recommend this method, since it's much faster to clear it manually. I tried thinking of ways to make this method work, like using the puppet skill to teleport my main body to Jotero. Unfortunately, it did not work, as there seems to be a limit to how far you can teleport. Previously you get kicked for teleporting too far, because the game thinks you are exploiting. So I'm glad the developers fixed that at least. I will keep clearing this dungeon until I get Kars Mask. It is the rarest drop for this dungeon, so I hope it won't take us long. One hour later. Alright, I forgot that I have an insane amount of alt accounts for this game, and some of them have rare items stored in them. Coincidentally, one account has a Kars Mask, so all the grinding we did was for nothing. I guess I will give myself the mask and use it. I hope we get a good tray for cars, since our damage will depend on it. Are you serious, my brother? Well, that was really unfortunate, but now we just need the Adger mask to obtain the ultimate life form. The only problem is that the item notifier won't notify me if one spawns, so I must remember to check every two hours. So a few hours have passed since I recorded, and I still can't find an Azure mask. I decided to move to plan 2, which is trading. Luckily, my alt accounts have many ultimate diaries, so I'm planning to use them for trading. I'm not sure about the value of the Azure mask, since it's still a relatively new item, so I will most likely end up overpaying for it. Okay, I don't know how rare this mask is, but most people are rejecting my offer of 5 ultimate diaries. 
I'm honestly not sure if my offer is even good, but I can't believe that an Aja mask can be so much rarer. In the end, I finally found somebody who accepted my offer, but he asked me to put him into the video. So it's basically 5 Ultima Diaries and some clout. He hey, also yo, asked for a legendary stand before that, which is obviously not worth it. So I gave him his screenshot, and got the Aja mask. Oh my god! Then I also gave him the 5 Ultima Diaries. 1, 2, 3, 4. Since we spent so much on obtaining this item, I don't feel good using it on Atreus cars. So I'm going to do more dungeon farming for some cars masks and use them all at once. Around this time, Roblox also removed the oof death sound effect and replaced it with a new horrible one. Think about all the suffering I had to go through while grinding. Please like and subscribe to ease my suffering. Alright, I'm back. The masks are much rarer than I thought, and I spent 2 days collecting 500 of them. Now let's use them, and hopefully get a good attribute. There is a new stand storage slot for those above level 120. I'm going to store my stand here, and retrieve it later. I'm mainly looking for the legendary or demon attribute. Let's see how long this will take us. We not got bad, a godly attribute. It is not what we are looking for, so let's continue. Another one. That is two godly attributes in a row. Not bad. Well. I nearly deleted this stand. That took us around 10 minutes and less than 100 masks. I want to keep going and try my luck, but I have a good feeling that I won't get a legendary attribute, so let's evolve this cars. This item can also give you cars. What? I highly doubt anybody will do that, unless they are desperate to get cars. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The damage on this spec is insane. Look at how fast I shred the godly dummy's HP. There is a new skill called Hand Skirrel. You summon a Skirrel, and it will deal damage for you. Not my favorite skill, but it is helpful on some occasions. The next skill is called Clay Armor. I suppose this skill reduces the damage you take, so you should use this skill whenever you can. The last skill is Stand Jump and Fly. You jump into the air and use your wings to fly around the map. The only downside is that it doesn't last that long. I find the new mobility skill to be the coolest of them all. Now let's use this spec and defeat the strongest bosses in the game. Wow, we managed to defeat Heaven Ascended Jotaro with two skills only. I didn't know you could use skills while in flight mode.
That was close. I could have nearly died from Tusk Act 4's barrage. Now I would like to check a few more things before we end the video. There is a new quest NPC. He is close to Dio and is hiding behind a building. The level requirement to receive a quest is level 300. You must defeat 3 Pillarmen to complete the quest. This is what a Pillarmen looks like. <laughs> I completed this quest easily with my new spec and got a good amount of XP and cash. So, I currently have a stone mask with me and want to see if I can use a vampire and car spec simultaneously. Let's find out. Nom, nom, nom. Nice. It worked. Not only that, but you don't take burn damage from the sun. This is pretty overpowered, since you can heal two times in a row. That's it for this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.